Oh my gosh, helping mitochondrial function? That's the energy producers of the cells. You increase your energy, that's increasing your metabolic response. Just brilliant. One of my biggest tips is to use FlexBeam on a regular basis. If you use it over the regime, I guarantee you're going to lose weight. I was so looking forward to meeting you, to, to talking again. I mean, every time I'm with you, it's it's like, oh my God, my sister from another mother. <laughs> we have so many similarities. We have similar mindset. And I really enjoy this every time. I look forward to having interaction with you and all these people coming today. Uh, they always fantastic. They so respectful and so enjoying the the knowledge which is pouring out to them. So I am grateful. Thank you so much, Doc. If you ever get a chance, come come by one of our clinics, and and every time, every every time I'm at one of the clinics, I'm in one clinic two days, the other clinic two days. Even in in Thailand, I'm there three times a year. Everybody says, oh, my God, the people here are so cool. And I said, yeah, think about it. You know, they're health oriented. They're like minded. They realize that the body is self-healing and self-regulating. They're taking charge of their health. They're not victims. This is a bitchin' group to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Doc. OK, today's special guest, Dr. Julia Frost. And I think this is like our third or fourth time hanging out. Medical director, co-founder of the clinical director of Recharge. Uh, trained in both Western medicine and Eastern philosophy. And this gal's got the best of both worlds. Expertise in integrating light and energy therapy on over 10,000 patients. Doc, I, I was, I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> I know a lot of other people are too. Um, so you've got a presentation that, that I'm, I'm going to be rewatching re this too. Actually, I was, um, I was going to just chat about things which are really oh. like, like, like they, they, they are for all of us to know, because uh, I've got some slides just really for visual representation, but really topics which concerns everybody, absolutely everybody. So if you don't mind, I'm going to share the slides. Yes. Right. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is the concerns everybody, because, uh, Everybody, and I, I mean it, every time when New Year chimes, you know, this 12 hours and then everybody is just celebrating and happy, this is new beginning. And uh, this is new beginning and you immediately think, oh my God, I need to get into shape. I need to start new regime. I need to start doing new things in my life. You kind of, you process it all what you've done for a year and you're moving on. So I want to talk today, how can you help yourself in this rejuvenation path? How can you recharge your batteries and how can you get uh, optimum your performance, not only physical performance, but mental performance as well, using tools. And uh, today we have a tool which is uh, FlexBeam, red light therapy. So first of all, I'm sure you do is exactly the same as I do. I indulge during holidays, I indulge during Christmas time because you have to be human. You have to do things like this. Yes, yeah, so we, we eat a lot and uh, why do we do this? Why why we, uh, you know, uh, kind of go with this lazy time of, of the holidays? Because our body goes with the rhythm of nature and we have to recognize there is a rhythm of, of nature. Really well presented uh, through the prism of uh, traditional Chinese medicine. So, uh, first of all, um, when spring starts, yeah, that signifies the renewal, detox, detoxification. So uh, this is a wood element. So you you start sort of doing all what is good for you, and then uh, there is a summer and there is a late summer, which is basically 
balancing nourishment and you're preparing for cooler months. And with autumn, you start storing all this nutrition, everything what you've got through the summer, and you start uh, preparing your immune system because you know all the time coming. Yes. And of course, finally, winter comes, comes and it's uh, associated with a deep rest. It's uh, time to strengthen your kidneys to keep your, uh, keep your essential energy. And um, that's why this time we feel very lethargic. We will kind of inwards and this call, this co coagulates our energy. So once we already been through holidays, uh, you know, we've been through this uh, winter solstice and this is a mark of the new beginning. Yes, we already started to move in towards spring. So we need to align ourselves with these seasonal energies because if you don't do it, you go against nature. And uh, I really uh, amaze how people, um, you know, uh, November, December, they start doing diets, trying to lose weight so, because maybe they want to look beautiful at Christmas. But really, this is unnatural. At this stage, you should be hibernating like all animals do, like plants do, in a time of stillness where the energy at lowest, yes? And from now on, you can now to start looking uh, after yourself. So yes, I already mentioned, yes, holidays comes with, uh, uh, you know, food, alcohol indulgements and kids. I see around every, in every family, the kids eat so much sugar, they go crazy. And people just uh, let their guards down. They also drink a lot, eat sugar. Yeah. So uh, in the end of the day, this is time we have to forgive ourselves, but we now need to uh, move on. So we need to do exercises, but hey, it's cold outside. Yes, <laughs> most of Northern Europe uh, particularly cold. Um, so uh, you kind of don't want to go outside, but you 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 have to because uh, you 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 need to be you know stay in shape. Um, and then of course there is a lack of sun exposure, and with lack of sun exposure, you develop a so-called uh, SAD, which is seasonal affective disorder which comes with further craving for carbs. So it's like a vicious circle. You become lazy, you don't want to move, and yet <laughs> mentally you want to move. So all of this um, requires some kind of support. So, um, and of course, uh, people, people, some people uh, actually get very stressed uh, by preparing for holidays. I know families, they, they just get stressed for buying presents for everybody. And so um, uh, stress also negatively affect the, the weight. So you're gonna be uh, gaining weight. When you don't sleep properly, when you stress, you automatically gain weight because you produce so much cortisol. So all in all, the situation is that uh, you need help. So how can you help? I mean, motivation is good, right? You think, oh my God, I'm gonna do it. New year, I've got to do it. But uh, let's talk a little bit about how this particular red light therapy can help you. Because uh, amazingly enough, uh, red light is used uh, specifically in therapeutics to help you to lose weight. And there are some studies has been done. And the study has been done that uh, with energy, you energize cells, including uh, adipocytes, which is cells of fatty tissue, yes? Uh, and uh, it helps to, when you're exposed to red light on a regular basis, it helps to uh, produce, uh, the, their cells create pores, so they, uh, they, they're basically lipids going to be uh, escaping. And if you follow this with exercise, you can actually burn that extra weight. Uh, also, you could... Um, uh, complement with the, um, uh, it's, it's actually red light therapy complementary uh, and help you to get rid of cellulitis. This is study. I, by the way, uh, please share with this presentation because I put the links to the studies and so people can study and see for themselves. Uh, there are some, uh, I found a very good study which demonstrated 635 nanometers in red light, which uh, by the way, FlexBeam also has. It's actually has been evaluated to reduce the body circum circumference. 
So uh, if you put it over your hips, if you put over your waist, thighs, um, arms, whatever, it actually proven that it helps you to lose that extra weight. It Red light therapy uh, helps to increase the muscle mass. And remember, we all, we talk often about the production of melatonin. Again, red light therapy will help you to restore your natural circadian rhythm. Yes, with that comes regulation in various hormones, including ho uh, thyroid hormone, including your cortisol, including testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. So circadian rhythm is super important. We can improve sleep, we can reduce inflammation, because yes, red light therapy has anti-inflammatory effect. We can improve mood, so you feel uh, much more enthusiastic. But to me personally, I use this red light therapy to help me to get more out of my exercises. So I would uh, prepare myself before I go to, um, I, I, I run, so I like running uh, in nature, but I would use red lights particularly to induce myself, energize myself. So I actually have energy to get out of the door because this is by the way, most difficult to actually walk through that door and then do a uh, go and run. <laughs> So um, this is diagram helps you to understand uh, how you could use it. Um, of course, a number one placement for this particular uh, application it would be over the stomach. You can see this is a major yin meridian, and this is a, a, a belt meridian or gold meridian. And then what I found this application over the adrenal glands is just literally above the waistline, where mi middle module uh, on the spine, this application actually stimulates your adrenal glands. And I tell you, I feel so energized if I use it. I literally uh, ready to go and do some record <laughs> running. Um, important, very important to use over the liver. Why? Because liver is uh, is a a queen gland in tra traditional Chinese medicine, that's what they refer to it. It's uh, uh, engaged in so many processes of digestive system. And placement on the left side down the descending bowel will help you if you want to evacuate and you have to detox your body faster because sometimes constipation can uh, be a struggle. I also like to use it on the sacrum because it's uh, like shining through your body into your pelvis. Uh, and uh, you should remember the pelvis is there where the uh, you have special meridian where the energy spins and help your reproductive system as well. So uh, I mentioned about the actual physical performance. So we have done studies at Recharge Health and uh, we figured out that if you use it approximately one hour, uh, before you go to the gym, you're going to perform much, much better. So um, this is kind of my uh, common sense tips, how to go back to your physical uh, performance. Yes. So first of all, you build up your workout slowly. Don't do too much at once because you instantly get overtrained. You need to do proper warm up and proper uh, warm down. Uh, you need to be regular. Regularity is the key. You need to have adequate hydration and make sure you drink quality of water. We can always chat about this later. Yes. Uh, I also suggest to do intermittent fasting. That worked really well for me. Uh, I was doing it for different reasons, uh, uh, but I actually, surprisingly, with because I'm quite small built, I actually lost quite a few, uh, you know, uh, kilos in weight. But I only, I will only occasionally was skipping breakfast. So uh, you don't really have to go even hard on this, but try it because uh, you, if you introduce just tiny little stress for your body, it's called hormesis. You can also improve your, um, uh, you, you know, your your weight. So carbs, be careful with carbs and sugars. You don't need them really so much unless you burn tremendously amount of carbs. So, and one of my biggest tip is to use flex beam on a regular basis. If you use it over the regime, I guarantee you're going to lose weight. And 
you can put it over the stomach, but you can also put it over these areas which you want to work on, like reshaping your body uh, over the thighs, uh, etc. So flex beam, uh, we need to use uh, one hour before if you want to produce much better, uh, um, you know, workouts uh, or outcome from the workout. But you can also use it within one hour after your exercises. Like, for example, you run for the first time and, oh, my God, muscles are so sore, so heavy, like a lead. Just put it over the muscles which you use the most. And uh, you will see this fatigue goes almost uh, immediately. So um, overall, our recommendation to use uh, 40 minutes before or 40 minutes after, but you could extend a little bit. You know, you could do even one hour, but especially if you use uh, two devices at once. This is just visual uh, for you. So you can put it like this over the thighs, over the calves if you are a runner. Uh, you could put it um, over the uh, um, muscles of the upper back if you are a weightlifter and so on. So lastly, uh, uh, one tip for you. If you have a um, problem with sleep, you can use this uh, uh, vitality regime or you or if you have problem with your nerves, like there is a big event, sport event is coming and you need to put your he head in a healthy state, relaxed state. So uh, you could do this vitality regime. So basically, you put and energize your spine. Why spine? Dr. Bergman knows the spine is your <laughs> center, is your core, you know, this is important. But also there is a one of the major, major meridian goes uh, over, the, over this area. So once you've done, I would recommend three positions, you know, top, mid, and bottom. And then a few hours later, do the front. So you do over this uh, uh, CV meridians in the middle, yes, uh, over the chest and over the stomach, all the way to pelvis area. So if, when if you do this, this is actually help with everything. This is for me the invitation to really energize the body. Okay, and at the same time you'll be become really calm and uh, prepared for doing your best at your performance. Um, knowing that I'm coming to Dr. Bergman's show, I know I wanted to give something special. So the special is uh, there is a uh, found really good study which uh, talks about using it with some form of fatigue. So uh, this is study, the link is here. This is saying photomodulation therapy as a possible new approach in COVID-19 because, you know, it hits mitochondria hard. <laughs> so uh, I thought um, you will be asking me this question because I know when that season where everybody is down with flu or whatever. So you can use this protocol. We, by the way, we evaluated and so, so many people, uh, our users of FlexBeam used it throughout the actual disease post to recover, uh, and they all absolutely uh, believe that it's a really, really helpful tool for you, particularly uh, with this situation. Okay, and uh, this is the uh, this is your uh, tips where you can place it. So this is of course over the neck. Uh, you only keep it like for five minutes, but what does it do? It stimulates your immune uh, defense, your first line of defense. Right. Second, of course, you put over the stomach and over the chest because you stimulate thymus, you, you energize your heart. And the second protocol is to work over the actually lungs. So it will be outside on both sides of the spine. And you, you notice this adrenal. This is my favorite position at the moment because it really, really does help with fatigue, particularly. So um, right now, I'm happy to join you uh, back again. And Goodness uh, gracious. You are, you are aggressive. Okay, so if, if this information came out a year ago, you could be arrested for saying that there's another treatment for some virus. <laughs> but, but oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. The truth was suppressed. 
the the cool thing, oh my gosh, helping mitochondrial function, that's the energy producers of the cells. You increase your energy, that's increasing your metabolic response. Just brilliant. I I love that. Now, now how okay. Um God, you've already answered all the five questions there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Doc, the, the cool thing is that understanding that we are in line with the planet and there are seasons to our body and there is a circadian rhythm. That is fantastic. I mean, the hydration is super important in the winter time, but that if the, every medication, well, nearly every medication um, alters mitochondrial function. The fact that this helps mitochondrial function is brilliant. And I love the placements. The placements, it, it's uh, fantastic. You're right over the adrenals, the intestinal tract, anything over the stomach is going to help neurotransmitter production. Brilliant. Um, oh, oh, one thing, one thing. This is kind of interesting. Um, how does the um, recharge light therapy improve cellulitis? Because this is very, very common. Um, well, it's... The two things, like not just two things, few things. Uh, we already listed the uh, uh, mitochondria production improvement and energy processes improvement at the cellular level. Yes, it has anti-inflammatory effect. I literally observed when I place on the skin, if you have inflammation uh, anywhere uh, or the, the actually cellulitis is inflammation, you literally see the skin cools down it's that swelling uh, disappears and the appearance of the uh, the cells is much better. There is no redness. The skin becomes literally soft, elastic, and, but you need to do it a few times. You, you can't obviously expect in one go. Uh, and um, a local application is useful. However, however, always, always use it over the stomach, use it over the liver and the spleen. I actually use it on both. Right side will be the liver, left side the spleen, and I use over the kidneys. This is my favorite positions because they address the uh, internal organs. Because uh, whenever you have cellulitis, your body is also going through stress, some form of stress. And as you know, through stress uh, response, you get the blood flowing out of the organs. So you need to nourish them so they can detox properly uh, your body and uh, the gut as well. Oh, brilliant. And it, when you're looking at cellulitis just means inflammation of the cells and inflammation is a healing process. So one of the reasons this reduces inflammation is because it facilitates healing. So then the inflammation isn't needed. Exactly, exactly. It, it's it's like it, it's so many people think inflammation is a dragon attacking you when actually it's a repair process. Yeah, uh, I agree. So, uh, you, you know, I... From early years, like pro probably 20 years ago, I remember talking to my patient and saying, inflammation is a good guy. It's not the bad guy. Inflammation, why are you trying to kill inflammation? Whether this is natural response of your body to the invasion of some kind of pathological pathogenic factor. And so when, when you have uh, the inflammation, you need to support it. And if you support it, like uh, remember we're talking about the energy processes, there is sufficient amount of energy and blood redirections. We redirect using red light blood to the site of uh, the manifestation of some, whether it's injury, whether it's disease, uh, there is a blood needed because without blood, you cannot heal. And inflammation is designed to bring that blood to this area and lymph and what lymph brings your, your immune cells yes they clean they're gonna clean this area so uh, i absolutely agree with you uh, when i speak about anti-inflammatory effect of red light therapy what i mean it's not suppresses inflammation it works with the body so thank you for making this clear. Oh my God, brilliant, brilliant. Hey, you mentioned something about sunlight, lack of sunlight exposure, um, increasing carb craving, carbohydrate cravings. Can you expand on that? Like, like how, how does that work? Well, uh, I can explain it really well because um, 
uh, when I was living in the UK, I had it. <laughs> I had it hard <laughs> myself. Really, really. It was uh, undeniable because with the lack of sunlight, uh, and this is what you develop because you you are not exposed to the full spectrum of light. Yes, in the best scenario in England, you get a, a piece of small piece of grey sky <laughs> and that is like for months and months and months and uh um my body you could see i've got that darker skin my body used to sunlight and for me it was really really hard uh so when you uh, when you don't receive enough of sunlight including the infrared light which i'm going to talk in a minute but <clears throat> what's uh, what's happening the processes in the body become mixed up it's a signal for the body to hibernate so uh, you know you become so in words you become you don't unmotivated you don't want to go and do anything and uh, to be honest i was quite severely depressed at those days uh, and i didn't at the time i didn't know what's going on with me i just couldn't understand something is wrong but i couldn't put my finger on it and um, uh, and there is a massive cravings for carbs so you immediately, when you binge carbs, you, you know, swell like a balloon. It's not a good feeling. <laughs> and um, uh, lucky to me, maybe because, you know, um, I have a very inquisitive mind. I start trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on. And I came across light therapy because it was, um, you know, some time ago. And uh, I bought a light box, uh, a full spectrum light box. Remember magic word? full spectrum because you need not only uh like all the colors or visible lights as a white light but you need also near infrared lights that only it didn't have uv and i put it in my home and i put it in my office and i bought a big one the biggest one and uh, um i fooled my body it really did show to me as if it's some in the back of my eyes i can see sunlight the sun, the day is longer, you know, and I start feeling fine, start being energized. And uh, until uh, we've got this red light device, I was relying on that sunbox. But of course, red lights has got lots, lots of knee infrared spectrum here. Um, and I wanted to uh, to talk a little bit about this particular knee infrared light. Um, you know, Dr. Bergman, that very recently, the, the few scientists uh, discovered that we not only produce uh, melatonin through the pineal mechanism, yes, we produce melatonin in the brain when we expose to uh, red and infrared light, but apparently we have so many cells in the body which is scattered around the body, which inside the cell we produce melatonin. And this mm -hmm. melatonin produced only after near infrared light. And when you go in the woods and you see these trees, green trees, they reflect near infrared light, which they source from the from the sky, from the from the sun. And that's why you feel so fantastic when you go for a walk in, in the greens, even, even if it's a cold time of the year. But please remember this: you need near infrared lights. And right now, Artificial lighting has zero near infrared light, literally. In the 60s, we have incandescent lights, which would have a little bit of near infrared. Right now, it's zero. So you don't, if you don't go out, and in the winter specifically, if you don't go out, you sit under artificial lights, you don't get near infrared light, you kick in with this SAD big time. So you need this at home to use it as a regime to get you through this tough time. I'd, I'd love that that you mentioned melatonin. And melatonin is, is a lot of people associate with sleep, but it's an antioxidant. And an antioxidant means that it that that's part of the inflammatory repair process. So inflammation creates free radicals that can damage healthy tissue. And the antioxidants, that's one of the brilliance of, of the light therapy. Hey, you mentioned cold coagulates energy. I, I like your your verbiage on there. Um, <laughs> can, can, I really coagulates. You just think, okay, yeah. Um, how does that how does that uh, affect? What expand on it, please? Yes, uh, it's actually a term from TCM. 
they use the, this term to, to describe winter. They always say in the winter, there is a cold and this cold coagulates you, which means your energy, you, you become stagnant. Yeah. Uh, my teachers gave me a beautiful example and I, I visually always remember this. They say, you know, chi, the energy is, uh, you know, spinning in the body, it flows in the body, it moves. And they say the chi moves blood. So if there is no chi, the blood becomes stagnant, stationary. And the example was a, a boiling water on the gas hob. So you have the water, when you turn the gas, which is chi, the water starts boiling and getting excited. Yes, same with the body. Uh, we have this uh, fundamental energy in our body and it circulates. There is no, I mean, now science have proven this. There are so many research into biofield and uh, subtle fields and you, we know we have the, that vital energy. So in a sense, uh, when I look at flex beam, from TCM point of view, to me, this is a chi generator. It makes that energy spin. So when the energy coagulates or becomes stagnant, stationary, you need to move it, right? So when you put the flex beam on that part of the body where you suspect there is a, a, a stagnant energy and the blood is not moving, you will always recognize it because it would have like bluish white discoloration of the skin because, you know, blood is not moving. So it's become ischemic in a sense. Um, uh, and another uh, very important thing I want to tell you that when uh, uh, in our body, we have also a uh, chalk meridian, which is like a system in the pelvis. So it kind of shapes uh, around the uterus in, in women. So it's like follow the shape of the uterus. So when the energy in the pelvis becomes stagnant, and it does, because we have all too much sitting everywhere. We sit, 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 sit. And, uh, um, you know, not many people do sex nowadays. So the energy is not moving there. It's become stagnant, stationary. And then women want to get pregnant. And uh, th there is not enough energy. So at this particular situation, uh, in Chinese medicine, there is a term, they actually call it cold uterus. So women become infertile. No, maybe they're absolutely fine with everything on blood tests and everything. But if there is not enough energy, you need to move that energy in the pelvis. Um, and lots of our users use this over the pelvis and giving me really good uh, results. <laughs> I hope I uh, kind of explained it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you, you explained it perfectly. Well, when you talk about energy, I mean, and, and this is why I just, your education has been fantastic because the medical world is, is bent on coming up with a diagnosis Okay, so that die means to, agnose means not to know. Okay, I know that's not what diagnosis means, but one of my instructors said that. And in chi traditional Chinese medicine and tr traditional chiropractic, we don't diagnose. And, and the way I explain it to my new doctors, <clears throat> you got 10 people with fibromyalgia, 10 people with the high blood pressure, 10 people with type 2 diabetes. Do they have the same lifestyle? Do they have the same history, the um, physical, chemical, and emotional stress? No. And their body is adapting correctly based on their past history. So you cannot label somebody with a diagnosis and give 10 people the same therapy. That doesn't make any sense. They're, and this, this is why when people come to me and they say, well, I have a low functioning thyroid. I have adrenal fatigue. I, no, no, no. Your body's responding correctly based on the environment and the stimulus. We have to change your physical, chemical, and emotional stress. That I mean, brilliant. How you got the medical education and discovered Chinese, um, you know, the, the lack of the difference in there is black and white. And in everything is energy. You you get that energy to flow. The body can adapt correctly, and tissue production occurs. 
Yes, uh, you know, I, I, in sort of beginning of this century, of year two thousand, I discovered the quantum quantum physics, <laughs> and quantum physics basically explains the energy concept because they say at the particle level everything is uncertain and everything is vibrating, oscillates. There is no physical matter. So when you realize this is truth, then you see on the world very different, and you understand that we are energy being, everything is energy, and uh, there is a different interaction with this energy. But this is quite uh, empowering you, because if you understand this, then you know you can change your vibrations, and you can get yourself wealth. So this okay. is my thing. In the, in the future, we're going to be able to say this is an energy producing device that's going to alter um, the, the vital forces of your body. And people will go, oh, cool. <laughs> because, because that's what's really, really happening. I mean, it, it, it's it's brilliant. Now, now, would would you be open to some question and answers? Some yes, from absolutely. from the audience. Absolutely. 